For three months, this vertical axis wind turbine has been generating energy just off Main South Road. It's part of a mix that supplied power to a base used by crews working on the duplication project between Aldinga and Selix Beach. Obviously the sun doesn't shine 24 hours of the day and the wind doesn't blow uh, as well, so we really see this as integrating into the mix of energy sources. Flinders University is working with Vortex Energy to turn their prototype into a commercially viable wind energy option. Currently large-scale wind farms that use a different horizontal axis design dominate Australia and the world's wind energy production as they're considered more financially viable, something Vortex founder Gary Andrews is hoping to overcome. The aim is to learn from it, see what faults there are that we can and find solutions to fix those and have a commercial version by uh, early next year. Without this technology being fully completed, still in the prototype level, we have received several requests from wineries, small manufacturers, or small businesses, farmers. The expectation is that this wind technology will work in conjunction with solar, battery and other forms of energy production. Having a real mix in there means that we can get away from fossil fuels for our projects. The small-scale wind turbine project has received investor funding as well as support from both the federal and state government. If companies come to us with an innovative idea that meets a problem that we're all sharing, then there are grant programs for that. But for the vertical axis wind turbine to reach full-scale manufacture, a significantly larger investment will be needed. We hope that this will be adopted across Australia and, uh, and elsewhere in the world. Big ambitions to turn a renewable dream into reality. James Wakelin, ABC News.